Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 20th to August 26th, 2018. So first of all, first things first, I mean um, the Tarot spread now, the uh, first position here represents the Scorpio topic of uh, this particular week, followed by the core of the situation here then we do have the challenges that you Scorpio needs to overcome and the last one represents the uh, guidance that you should follow for that particular week so uh, let's see what we got for us guys now the first card here this is going to be the five of swords and it does represent that we are going to be attacked and we uh, will experience generally some some hostility regarding our relationship life or regarding our career and if it is about our relationship life that hostility is going to come from most likely our partner where they are going to blame us for a you know a certain misfortune that happened into our relationship in general or in case you know the relationship has ended uh, our partner will try to blame us for it and when it comes to a, a career with uh, the uh, five of swords then uh, uh, we will kind of face hostility from our co-workers uh, it's not. It is unlikely that it's going to be from our bosses and our supervisors, but it is more more likely to be um, from the people which are uh, in direct competition with us. You know, so uh, we have to figuratively um, dress ourselves with warm clothes because it's going to be a, a very very cold environment. Now you need to be aware with the five of swords either career or relationship wise is that uh, these people will try to dig up dirt about us. And uh, that's why we have to take certain precautionary measures regarding it. Now very important here with the five of swords as well is to know our, uh, for us to know our capabilities and where our, our limitation lies so we don't make any um, you know overestimated um, kind of uh, steps toward and um, therefore to fail regarding a certain activity or an enterprise and that will give a prerequisite to our enemies, our rivals, you know, to take the upper hand. So it is best that week for us to be lower than the grass if we can. Now the second car represents the uh, core of the situation or why this is happening. Now we do have the four of wands and that, um, this car resembles the uh, successful finalization of a certain cycle of development here and uh, immediately after that starting the uh, next level of development. So this car represents you know, the initiation of, uh, of one's plan, the initiation of, one, of one's project or the final of one's project. What I'm trying to say here is that you are um, Scorpios on a verge of um, you know becoming much greater and, and, and in a much beneficial position than these people here and this is like the final attempt from their behalf you know to deprive you from this success if I may say it that way here with the four of wands that you are after so the four of wands here is the very um, is the very culmination of a um, a big effort toils from the past that you have exerted so you can have a, a certain as I said either a, a project or a certain enterprise into your relationship to be uh, to be executed like uh, for example a holiday vacation or um, you know buying a new home etc etc it is just you know there are some people as I said which doesn't want you to expand they don't want you to grow and those people could be as well into your very environment because for example if it is about your new home maybe your family doesn't want you to detach yourself from them you know with your boyfriend or a girlfriend moving on into a new home and therefore they will be the one who will try you know to uh, attack you verbally and to um, with the last resort humiliate you in any way 
So the challenges that you have to overcome here, guys, this is the Knight of Swords, and this is the challenge of uh, convincing. Now, uh, all the challenge to realize that whatever you do, you cannot convince those people that um, you are doing uh, this here with, with the four of wands, you know, that development of a cycle because you need growth or rather you cannot convince those people that um, for the righteousness of your actions and of your situation. So either way here, looking at these cards uh, no matter you know no matter your arguments no matter no, no matter your uh, negotiations with those people in general they will not change their standpoint therefore you have to basically move on either without them or against them now either way is going to suit you here it is just you need to know with the knight of swords that it is uh, these um, because the knight of swords here describes these people which are giving you uh, which are attacking you verbally in in any way which are um, insulting you should i say that way or trying to divert you from uh, the development of your cycle either regarding the career or relationship and uh, what you need to know here with the with the Knight of Swords is that it is very tough to argue with a guy or a girl or with that group of people in general because they for some reason they cannot see the, 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 the reason behind your logic you know they um, they will always find their own arguments and their own means so they made themselves uh, righteous in the conversation and to make you the uh, the black sheep in the uh, in the pack there so uh, it is best not to basically provoke arguments it is basically uh, beneficial for you not to provoke any scandals here but as i said try to be lower than the grass than the grass and try to not uh, try not to uh, kind of like um <clears throat> as I said, provoke uh, fights and um, in generally uh, collisions uh, with uh, collision of ideas with uh, with other people because uh, uh, what they can do really it is just talk talk ill about your um, about your undertakings but this talking cannot really affect your undertaking so they're trying to basically scrape down your nerves so you can lose it, you can snap uh, mm, you can snap and uh, that way you alone uh, kind of jeopardize um, your your foundation that you have uh, built here with uh, with either your relationship or with either your career <clears throat> so uh, that being said guys don't mind the uh, the attacks of your co-workers don't mind you know the attacks of your boyfriend or a girlfriend or your family for that matter it, what matters here really is uh, your next cycle of development either into the career or into the relationship and it is uh, imperative here to um, act based on your current plans developed all right because these people will try to uh present your plans as something that cannot be executed as some as something that it is very immature and impossible to be successful and they are wrong they are doing that because they don't want you to basically move on into the next cycle of development for some reason and the last one, this is the guidance here that will be the nine of swords, and it is a, it is exactly overcoming your fears, the fears which are fed by the uh, the cunning tongues and the um, you know the attacks of uh, the people around you. Now it is very important here when we do have the nine of swords as a guidance card is to realize what in reality you can lose. All right? It is very important to face as I said your fears and especially the fear of, of failure and a fear of failure can be faced when you uh, face what you have to lose. You know for example if you are initiating into a relationship and, you're on, and all of your friends are against that relationship Relationship and they are constantly talking you, talking to you against the person that uh, you want to be with, or even worse, they are placing you ultimatums, or they are giving you ultimators, either he, she, or me. You know, then uh, you have to basically 
um, kind of uh, scale what will be the worst case scenario here and really face it and uh, it is likely that you will uh, kind of like come to the conclusion that if this so-called best friend of yours it is placing you such of an ultimatum so uh, in generally it's abusing you know your kindness and your attachment to them then they aren't very good friends after all after all are they you know so this is what I'm talking about a play uh, kind of like facing your fears fears and realizing the greatness of the responsibility you have toward yourself toward your happiness you know and toward your well-being and that being said you should not allow anybody to dictate how you will be happy and whom you are going to be happy with so this was uh, your tarot reading for the week here, Scorpio. And now let's see what the Lenormand has to say for you. That will be the Sun, followed by the Stork. And then we do have the Ring. So what these cards are talking is that <clears throat> they speak like successful delivery of a, a long-term commitment here or um, we are talking about a, a new very successful initiation of a commitment right so that will be the new cycle of development of yours and as I said there will be people around you which does not want to see you moving on to the next cycle of development for uh, various reasons here guys for example because they cannot move into a next cycle of development and they don't want to have someone around them being more successful than they are this is very common among our uh, among us humans or it could be because of a jealousy because they want to be in that cycle of development um, <clears throat> you know, instead of you being in there right that is very common when uh, for example a very good girlfriend of yours it is um, has a crush in the same guy that you do have a crush all right and even though you do have a mutual agreement that you will be for example the one that tries first with that guy she is kind of acting surreptitiously and is diminishing your um, you know your chances with the guy or with the girl if you are a male as well you know so it's very important here to really um, kinda be able to separate uh, those people which are really faithful to you and are supporting you no matter what and those people which are trying to point you a direction those who are trying to point you a direction are ha they have no place right now in this week in this week beside you because what you need here Scorpio is support that you can transition into the new cycle of development rather than obstructions rather than criticism so that being said guys this was your weekly tarot reading for August 20th to August 26, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.